Isn't it strange that because of something terrible that happened to me when I was a kid, a lot of people have disliked me, or at least gotten pissed at me, and had nothing more to do with me. When I was nine, I was taken into a room to say hello, and a few minutes later, goodbye to a woman. She was dying. She was my mother. Soon afterwards, I developed this problem saying hello and goodbye to people. And ever since, with varying intensity, because sometimes I'm hardly bothered by it at all. If I'm in a new situation or I'm uncomfortable, or if it's expected of me, strangely enough, I have a problem saying hello and goodbye. That's why I hate sidewalks. Because when you're walking on a sidewalk, you always run into people and need to say, Hi, how you doing? Or, See you later, bye. And people expect it. <laughs> there ain't no getting away from it. I don't know how many times I'd be walking down the street, you know, and I see someone, I'm like, and this wall go, boom, smack me in the face. And my throat would clamp up. <laughs> so I'd look down, look around, try not to catch their eye. And they're like, watching me as I pass. People don't like that shit. They get pissed off. Hate you for the duration. When I first moved to New York City, I found residence in the Lower East Side, which at that time was the art crazy Lower East Side, with all kinds of people crawling around, crawling over each other, trying to get famous. And in those networking intensive times, saying hello and goodbye was a strategic obligation. Hi, 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 hey, how you doing? It's great to meet you, hi. See you later, see you later. It's been great. See you later. I hope to see you soon. Bye. Soon, huh? Soon. And I knew it didn't mean anything, but having come from a situation where hello and goodbye had meant so much. It bothered me to say hello and goodbye frivolously. Those words had value. So after I'd run into two or three people, I'd be exhausted, man, because saying hello and goodbye meant so much. I used to hang out at this couple's place where a little clip would gather. When I first came to New York, I was kind of like the new guy, you know, I didn't get a lot of respect. But luckily, there I was transplanted in the Lower East Side, surrounded by sensitive artists who recognized immediately that I had this little problem saying goodbye, right? And were they sympathetic? <laughs> So usually I'd wait till it was late, you know, and things were kind of hushed, and people were talking quietly in groups, and I'd stand up and go, Well, I guess I gotta... It's uh, time for me to say... And when i do that, it was like, BOOM, man! Somebody flipped the switch and the party started. They'd all come to the front deck, feel the fact, talking real intensely. Like you couldn't interrupt, you couldn't go, Excuse me, excuse me. And if I try to talk louder, boom, man, they get louder, shouting, laughing, having a good time. It was a party, man. Many a time I just give up and sneak off. And of course, more than once, when I saw some of these people later, they go, Hey, man, what happened to you? You just ran off and didn't say goodbye. What's up, guy? Yeah. They knew what was up, and so did I. Isn't it strange that because of something terrible that happened to me when I was a kid, a lot of people have disliked me, or gotten pissed at me, had nothing more to do with me, or 
tortured me in some kind of childhood regurgitated viciousness for their own silly pleasure. Isn't it strange? <laughs>